Check out this stadium they got over here. This is Exposition Park. This is gonna be a soccer field, if I am not mistaken. It's a huge stadium too, jeez. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. No, uh, not Adam the Woo, sorry. He's off doing his, you know, Route 66 routine, so. Now let me do somebody else. Hey y'all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the West, more specifically, Exposition Park. Now, it's not Carpet Bagger either, but we are in Exposition Park. We are in downtown LA, sort of esque. We are here at the California Science Center. So, as we all know, King Tut is probably the, one of the most famous of all of the Egyptian pharaohs in ancient Egyptian history. And there's been a lot of different debates as to how he died or was he really a pharaoh and all that. But obviously, with all the stuff that they have found inside of his tomb, it's pretty evident that the guy was pretty stinking rich. He had like a lot of jewelry. There was obviously a lot of gold in Egypt. In fact, if you look at a lot of the things that were made in ancient Egypt, there was a lot of stuff that was made in gold. A lot of jewelry was made, a lot of different special stones that were used. King Tut is another example of one of those types of people that really has an interesting background and really an interesting history that we don't know that much about. Of course, the biggest mystery is how did he die, right? A lot of people have debated about how he died. Like they have scanned his body. They found like one of his legs had like a fracture or something. They said he died from a horrific like chariot accident. In more recent history, like say within the last like 20 years, they've done like x-rays and CAT scans of his body or should I say his mummified body and they've found like weird molars in his mouth at some point in his life maybe before he died he had something happen inside his mouth where maybe there were cavities and it caused the bacteria to go up into his brain and that that actually is a very serious problem because there are some cases where people in terms of the dental area bacteria can literally go right up into the mouth area it can affect your mandible and in some cases can travel right up into the brain it can cause some pretty serious brain damage and even death and some scientists think that might be another cause of death for King Tut, but again, it's debatable. Some creation scientists believe it is that King Tut was the boy that died during the 10 plagues. In case you don't know what I'm talking about, this is the time when Moses was trying to free the Israelites or the slaves in Egypt under their 400 year slavery under Pharaoh. And one of the plagues that occurred was the 10th plague or the worst plague, and that was death of the firstborn. And some people think some scientists, creation scientists, think and believe that King Tut might have been the boy that died during the 10th plague. Now, in some cases, you know, that is a reasonable explanation as to why he died because we haven't really found a, an actual reason as to why he died. So that's a that's one reason what how we think that he might have died. But I still have my doubts about that one because he may not have been the firstborn. It's debatable if he was the firstborn, but... Again, the history of King Tut's a little sketchy in some areas. I think it's time we checked out the exhibit. What do you guys think? Now, I will say this right now. They're probably not going to let me film, but I'll definitely take photographs of almost everything there in the exhibit. Here we go. Follow me. Carpetbagger again. <laughs> Got my ticket. We can see both the Endeavor and King Tut today. Something I want to point out I didn't notice before was that this is the 100th anniversary exhibition. Final World Tour. 150 priceless artifacts.
guys, guess what? I just finished the entire King Tut exhibit. That was really cool. I came out of King Tut's tomb with a few treasures. An official King Tut pin. You guys know I like collecting pins. This is a King Tut pin. It's a scarab beetle. They had a few others that were like that of his statue that we saw and the head mask, but I like this one because I thought it was really cool. So got the scarab beetle. A whole bunch of scarab beetles. Ah! <laughs> Anyways, yes, these are scarab beetles made in Egypt. That's right. These were made in Egypt. They had blue ones and red ones, and I thought the blue ones look really cool. So got some scarab beetles. And last but not least, I know Professor Word's going to love this. I have an exclusive item from King Tut's tomb. What's in here? Yes. It's his sarcophagus. Look at that. They had a slightly bigger one, like maybe a few inches bigger, that was like 20 bucks more. And I was like, eh, I'll stick with this one. That is really, really nice, you guys. You can open this up and put like pins in it. Let me see if I can open it up with one hand. I'm gonna try not to damage it. There we go. So yeah, it's like a pin holder basically. Put like pins for like ties and all that. I actually have a Titanic pin holder that I got many years ago when the Titanic was here at the Science Center. So yeah, this is kind of a neat little toy. Well, it's not a toy. I mean, it's a it's a cool piece of of ancient history right here. All right, guys. So here is my overall summary of what I thought about the King Tut exhibit. I thought it was really cool. I think it was really fascinating that they had all these different items from King Tut and his tomb. They said it was a celebration of the 100th anniversary of when they discovered his tomb. 100 years. That is crazy to imagine. It's already been 100 years since they discovered his tomb. I remember a while back that they had an exhibit for King Tut, but it wasn't here at the Science Center. It was, I think it was in downtown LA. I don't remember exactly where it was because it's been so long since I remember seeing King Tut's, like, the exhibit. But this is the second time I have seen his, like, stuff. <laughs> I've been to the Science Center before and I've seen some really, really awesome exhibits. Something just flew into my eye, sorry about that. But yeah, I've been here to see some really awesome exhibits. You guys remember last year I was here for Body Worlds. They had the Pixar exhibit here. There's just been a lot of really cool and amazing, like, stuff here that they've had on display here at the Science Center, especially the special exhibits. Oh, the Star Wars exhibit, duh, that was here. But I think that was just a more of a promotion for Star Wars than anything, really. So all in all, in my opinion, here's how I rank this one. As you guys know, I really enjoyed Body Worlds. Body Worlds was by far, I think, one of their best special exhibits. I still rank that one as number one. King Tut? I hate to do this, but Pixar was a number two after Body World. So Pixar's two, this one's a three. This is like top five favorite exhibits that have been here at the Science Center. Number four would be Star Wars. They had a Titanic exhibit here. It was okay, but again, it was one of those situations where you couldn't really record stuff. I don't even know we were allowed to take photographs of it. So I remember it somewhat but not a whole lot. If you love ancient history, especially Egyptian history, and maybe just stuff about King Tut or whatever, come and check it out. It's a lot of fun, but you know what? I will say this, the ticket prices are a little bit expensive. It's about, for me, it was like 29 something, but the reason why it's a little bit more expensive than their normal special exhibits is because they're building a special section for their Egyptian museum wing, not here at the Science Center, but in Egypt, for a more permanent home for the King Tut exhibit, like an actual area where they can have all of his stuff in one place, which is one of the reasons why their prices are high because it's actually gonna help fund that. And I think it's really cool. So it's gonna be here to like January 2019. So you guys got about a year before this thing goes. So with my, my saying that, it's basically gonna be the last time ever that we'll be able to see anything from King Tut here in the US. Which I think is sad because, you know, I would like to see stuff in the future about King Tut, but we have to go to Egypt now to see this stuff. But 
all in all, it's been documented here on YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. Don't forget, I have other channels as well, the educational series, the design video series, and the Travel Town series. I do weekly updates from Universal Studios Hollywood on this channel. So if you want to stay connected, please be sure to hit the red subscribe button and the bell button to get notifications as to when a video will be posted onto this channel. Also, I have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And that's about it. Oh, and I also have a P.O. box. If you guys want to send me mail, there's a P.O. box address down below in the description of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. End scene. And as they say in Hollywood, we're not in Hollywood. We're actually in downtown L.A. What do they say? Hey, King Tut, what do they say? That's a wrap.